all color experiences are produced by light that it enters the eye, and then we have photoreceptors at the back of the eye on the retina that are sensitive to different wavelengths of light. So that light then enters the eye, the photoreceptors respond to certain parts of the spectrum, which then gets the photoreceptor responses get compared and contrasted in the visual system, which then ultimately gives rise to the perception of color. So you start with a spectrum, and ultimately we end up with a three-dimensional color space, where in perception the dimensions are hue, which is what we think of as basic color, so it's red, orange, yellow, green, so the color circle. Saturation, which is how pure or vivid the color is, where grays and blacks and whites are maximally desaturated. And as you move out from that central spine of the space, so the grays and blacks and whites are on the central spine, as you move outward, the colors get more saturated. And the third dimension is lightness, going from dark to light. And so from a designer's perspective, what the wavelengths of light are doesn't necessarily matter because you can have two colors that look exactly the same that are produced by completely different wavelengths. And so if you think about on a computer monitor, for example, you can get white by making the red, green, and blue values 255, 255, 255. Um, that's one way to get white. But you could get white with a uniform distribution over the entire spectrum. So there are many different ways to produce the same exact color. And so when you have two colors that have different wavelength distributions but appear the same, they're called metamers. And so from a design perspective, we're concerned with what colors look like not necessarily their wavelength composition. However, if you have two colors that look the same under a given illuminant, that, but they have different wavelength um, compositions, that doesn't mean that they'll look the same under a different illuminant. And that's where it becomes relevant for a design um, perspective. It's a design problem that if you get two things to match under one light source, and then they look different under another light source. But I think ultimately the golden standard is what colors look like to an observer and how they're produced doesn't matter as much as how we perceive them.